Hey guys, welcome back again. I want to talk about Brad Pitt. I mean, nobody even has to ask who's Brad Pitt, but I want to talk about all the women that he's dated and what are they doing. I mean, I couldn't name all of them, but I only know like maybe the top three, I'm going to say, that are really uh famous. I mean, they're like the top three females. Yeah. Let's look at... I know he was dealing with Robin Givens at one time. Then he went on to Jennifer Aniston. And I think he wanted children. She didn't want children. This is what American women do. It's nothing new. Then he had Angelina Jolie. I don't even know the story between them, but that's what happened when you get with one of those boss chicks. It, it never turns out well. But what I want to talk about is really what these women do not realize. And something, somebody like Brad Pitt, he realizes it, but I guess he just don't care. He's not like your average guy anyway. Like Brad Pitt could get away with a lot of stuff. He's a slippery one. I would say. But what I'm talking about really is what these women don't realize while they're chasing that alpha male, that most wanted guy. Like, look at Robin Givens now. That's what happens when women continue to chase all these different men. In the end, they end up alone. And I'm just trying to point it out. Like, women don't even realize... In the end, you're alone. That's where usually women that runs around with different guys that's chasing a highly wanted guy, you know, that uh, football player, basketball player, they go from man to man to man. It never turns out well for them. Then Angelina Jolie, I believe she's complaining about child support or whatever. It don't matter. Jennifer Aniston. But here's the thing. Brad Pitt, I don't even know how old he is. I believe he's in his 50s. He has eons. Because I'm going to tell you, when he get in, let's say his 70s, if he live that long, he ha- he's still going to have the pick of the litter. Yes. Brad Pitt is going to be like uh, Al Pacino. He's going to be able to pick from whatever pool he chooses. He can also go overseas. I'm just pointing this out because a lot of women do not realize in the end you lose anyway. You know, you could play this hard game. Y'all could talk about you want them to make a hundred thousand a year. Why do that matter if you're gonna be old and alone? Cause you start talking about some of the prettiest, most beautiful women when they were in their prime are alone. Like when you start talking about uh Janet Jackson, like that's crazy when you start thinking about it. Women have no clue about... I mean, they hear about the wall. They don't believe in the wall. But at the end of the day, we don't really hit walls. long as a man can provide, he can have a wife. Any wife he's choose, especially somebody like a Brad Pitt. But my whole point is... Why? Why Why women have to run around with all different kind of men? And I know it's so many opportunities out here that they think. And in the end, you're alone. Because that's what a lot of women do. If they're not going to leave you, let's say, the first 10 years, she's going to leave you in your 60s. That's another pattern also. Look at what Bill Gates went through. Like, what is the point? If you're going to be alone in the end. And most women leave their husband because maybe they don't like to give him enough sex. Maybe they don't like his leadership. That's what it comes down to. And what, what are we missing? We're missing the fathers. Fathers holding daughters accountable. That's what we're missing. And it don't matter. Because in the end, women are the ones suffering. I don't think they really realize. We got men in their 60s going to the Filipinos, getting wives in their 60s, while older women hold out for some millionaire or whatever in their 60s. You got women in their 60s still saying they're not ready to be married. (laughs) It's a joke. 
Like, they have no clue of their value in their 20s. That's when you should be settling down. Preferably, I say about 18. Whenever you're thinking about having sex, that's when you should be thinking about marriage. But no, we're, we're, we don't even understand. Another thing is a lot of these big actors have no idea what a valuable woman is. Because I'm going to tell you something. Men that had money, you can even go back, I'm going to say, to the 1700s. Men that had money got virgins. Now, we think something valuable is a used up woman. I don't care. These women are used up. Like a Holly Berry. She ran through men like crazy. But they just kept marrying her. Like, when do we learn? These are high status actors, too, that go through the same thing that an average man goes through. And you got access to the world. It's ridiculous. I, I, I just don't understand. Well, anyway, guys, like, comment, and subscribe.